Okay, this one's for you, four card you pick with Diet at Cross Finish. So, hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it's time for us to get a read on you. All right, this one's for you. So take some time, consider what you want to ask. It'll be yes, no, or maybe, and you'll get four choices uh, of one, two, three, or four times that you can ask a question. Take advantage of it. I love doing these videos specifically for you, and uh, I put a lot of intention into it. And I hope you do the same from your end because that makes it uh, stronger and more apt to have some meaning for you. So concentrate, meditate, and let's do it. So the Hermetic tarot based on the esoteric workings of the secret order of the golden dawn by godfrey dowson these are u.s game systems cards and these cards are i consider them kind of severe they're a black and white deck uh, and they're, they're really loaded with symbolism so for me sometimes that can kind of get in the way but uh, on the other hand it gives you lots to uh, work with as far as dividing the cards the uh, uh, little guidebook that comes with them is, um, you know, it's a little small. You can read them, but it gives you very useful interpretations of the cards. And if you're going to use these cards, I would say take some time to just read through this and know what you're talking about. Um, these cards, though, I mean, look at this. What happened here, the Golden Dawn would encourage their members to design cards that meant uh, something in particular to them. And so these are one of the... Uh, um, surviving uh, works. Um, you can see that uh, if you're going to take them just at their face, they tell you how to read the cards. But if you're just going to take them for what a traditional Eight of Cups is, then you have clear symbolism if you look at it. But some of these can really take a minute for you to, uh, you know, interpret what all of the symbolism in here means. And there's everything in here. There's astrology, um, numerology. I mean, it, they're very thorough cards. Uh, I only use them uh, when I have kind of a severe subject or, or person that I want to uh, read on. So I like to spread these out so that you get a chance to see what uh, different cards look like in case you don't collect cards or you don't get to see full decks of tarot cards all the time. I've got a ton of decks of tarot cards. I don't know. I've got to get a rain on this, I think. But uh, the Hermetic Tarot are very interesting uh, cards to use. Okay, four card oracle with Dynatic Cross Finish. So I always say this is the time to really get your issues uh, solidly fixed in your mind. Decide which of the cards um, might be your choice, card or cards. And uh, take this minute to take a deep breath. Let it out slow. Center yourself. Put your thoughts together. And you don't even have to have a specific question if that's difficult. Maybe just an intention or a wish even. And or um, you know, just uh, asking for some direction. And then hopefully the uh, cards will come forth with some sort of a, a beneficial uh, answer for you. Okay, so four cards at first. One, two, three, four. So you'll pick one, two, three, or all of these cards for your issues. And here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape if you need to. Take a minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll start out. Okay, so this is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is the Lord of Great Strength. 
the Lord of great strength. This is when you're feeling embattled, that you've been through something that's been very difficult, uh, but you're ready for another round. So it's a yes card, but this is not uh, an easy yes, okay? This is, okay, I can continue. I can finish this. I can do this. Uh, this is a yes card, but it's a tough one, okay? So let me write down, because I want to make sure that um, I have this right in my eyesight as we're going through this divination. Okay. If you chose number two for your card, then this is the Ace of Swords. And this is a great big yes card. This is empowerment. This is nonstop. So yes, this is, go ahead, you can do this. So um, the Ace of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, that's what you want to keep uh, as your guiding light. Okay, so that's a yes card. The third card, if that's the one that you chose, so this is the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is the this is the action guy. Okay, when you give the knight uh, a, a remit, he's going to make sure it happens. And he's called in this uh, deck, he's called the Lord of the Winds and Breezes. So look at him with his wings here. He's going to take this this sword, this Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. He's going to fly into the battle and uh, and do his best to make sure this happens. This is a yes card also. The fourth card, if that's the one that you chose, is the Princess of Cups. The princess in this uh, deck would be equivalent to a, a page. Um, so she is the very least uh, powerful of the royal cards. And Cups is full of emotions. So the princess brings forth a message of compassion, okay? A hint of emotion. And so she's, and she's called the Princess of the Palace of the Floods. Okay, so she's bringing this emotional, turbulent issue into vision, into view. And uh, this is also a yes card. So we have four yeses today. Turn these over and start with a dyadic cross. And this is a signifier. <clears throat> this nine of wands, Lord of great strength, Lord of great strength. So whatever the issue is for you here, come on card. Five of Pentacles, Lord of Material Trouble. Five of Pentacles, Lord of Material Trouble. Five of, um, Lord of Great Strength, Lord of Great Strength. It's a signifier. So let's see what will be the challenge to that signifier. We'll take five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Okay, so this nine of wands, not wands are actions, plans, motion, moving forward. This nine of wands is embattled, the Lord of great strength. Something's um, been challenging, but there's more ahead, and this nine of wands is up for the battle, although weary. <coughs> the challenge to that then is the Seven of Wands, which is the Lord of Valor. Okay, so the Seven of Wands, again, so we're still with Wands, actions, motions, forward moving, moving. But uh, this uh, Seven of Wands has six other ones poking up at him, trying to get their uh, his attention, trying to get their plan underway. But this Seven of Wands has the uh, the uh, determining uh, action that's going to see make sure it happens here. So this is still a battle, okay? This is still a battle, but still an advantage. So you start out here... <clears throat> with the Nine of Wands kind of being in battle and battle weary. And with the challenge as the Seven of Wands, that just tells you that you've got what it takes to keep going forward. The basis of this reading then with this Eight of Wands, so we're at Wands heavy in this reading. And this is called the Lord of Swiftness. You know, the Eight of Wands is a lot of issues coming at you all together. These issues are crossing each other. They're all flying off. <coughs> Sorry, I have this cough right now. And there's several hands in the game here, but this um, uh, Eight of Wands is a lot of issues to deal with. Okay, so we're very wand heavy in this reading so far, this yes reading. The past to this is the Queen of Cups. So this, she's called here in this deck the Queen of the Thrones of Waters. So waters being compassion, emotion. This queen is very strong and very determined and, uh, and is going to master uh, those, uh, those waters. The sky this reading with this five of pentacles, remember that just uh, showed up just a minute ago, 
And the five of pentacles, you know, I want to get a little clarification on this five for myself. Five of pentacles. I'm looking off on my cheat seat to the side here. Yeah, hardship, abandonment. Yep, delays. So, and it's called in here, Lord of Material Trouble. You know, pentacles are value or worth or um, uh, substance. Okay. But the likely, the up in the sky of this, with this uh, five of pentacles, is understanding that this is a, a worthwhile endeavor and it's obviously not going to be easy to deal with. The sky of this, or I'm sorry, the likely outcome <coughs> with this death card. It's called the child of the great transformers because death is not death. Death is just the beginning of something else. The end of what's going on here, which would be, you know, you probably look forward to this being over and something new getting started. So in this case, this death card is actually uh, something to look forward to a new start. I'm almost challenged to carry this out to a full Celtic cross, but I'm not. But I'm going to go over it again with, for you. So the, we started out with a signifier, a yes card, Lord of Great Strength, Nine of Wands, being embattled. Uh, so it's a difficult yes. The Seven of Wands just really backs it up. The challenge to that with the Seven of Wands is that, you know, there are lots of issues, but you've got the guiding light, you've got the guiding wand to master this. The base of this reading with this uh, Eight of Wands, Lord of Swiftness, Swiftness just really um, says again to us, there's lots of actions here. There's lots of things going on that need to be uh, considered. The Queen of Thrones of the Waters, the Queen of Cups, is the is the uh, queen who absolutely has a handle on the emotions and the compassion that's uh, to be dealt with in this issue. And then up in the sky with this five of, of coins, the Lord of Material Trouble, just tells us again that not only are these actions um, uh, persistent, but it's a valuable situation that you that has to be dealt with. And then with the likely outcome being death, and it's called the Child of the Great Transformers, is just telling us that, yeah, this will come to an end, and then the new cycle will begin, and that would be something that you would look forward to. So you've got a yes, a hard-fought yes, and look forward to moving on to another situation. Okay. Then we'll reincorporate these back into the deck. And move on to number two. That's a card you chose. Signifier being Lord of the Root of the Powers of Air, a great big ace of swords, truth, justice, rules, or law. A great big positive uh, uh, signifier. I'm going to take five cards. This will be one, two, three, four, and five. Leave that one there. And what's the challenge to this Lord of the Root of the Powers of Air, this Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, challenged by the Lord of Ruin, the Ten of Swords. This is a complete and utter stop. Okay, this is where that Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law says it ends here. Okay, um, so this offer of, of moving forward is challenged by the possibility that this will be the end of this issue, the, the end of this cycle. But this ace tells us that this is the beginning of something as well as the end. The uh, base of this reading is uh, the Queen of Wands. So this is nice because this Queen of Wands, this actions, these uh, plans, this queen has a plan. She has an action. And she's called the Queen of the Thrones of Flame. Remember, wands are fire, and she is in control of that. Okay? And that's exactly how you want to come into this, what you want underpinning this issue, this yes card. The um, past of this reading with justice is the daughter of the Lord of Truth. Okay? So justice comes at us and says, we're going to balance the scales. And, and this is how we came into this. We came into this with either a sense of, or in fact, a justice. The sky of this reading with this uh, five of wands, the Lord of Strife. And the, the five of wands is a, is a, a disharmony, conflict. And uh, so we have to know that this might not be, you know, an easy uh, move. Okay. An easy uh, situation to progress through. But the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing with this King of Cups, the Prince of the Chariot of the Waters. This is beautiful. So the Prince of the Chariot of the Waters is telling us that this fella is a, is is commanding uh, these emotions, and that's how you want to come out of this issue. So we start out with this Ace of Swords, great big offer of what's the right, the just, 
the the correct uh, thing uh, to go about this. It's challenged by this Ten of Swords, which is a stop. Okay, it's the end of the cycle, but it's underpinned by this Queen of uh, the Thrones of the Flame, this Queen of Wands, the Queen of these actions. Okay, so she's in control of what's going to happen here, and we've come into it in the past with this with justice kind of uh, as a guiding uh, light and then up in the sky with this five of wands this conflict just understanding that that's what uh, can uh, uh, cause us some uh, imbalance here but in the end with this king of cups completely in control of the emotions and uh, the compassion and the passion that's involved in this that's exactly how you want to come out so very good yes card yes reading it So now we move on to the third one. That's the card that you chose. So the third card in this four card oracle. So this is the Knight of Swords, another big yes card, and the Swords with Justice Rules Law, and the Knight is the uh, the warrior. Okay, he's going to get this thing through uh, where it's supposed to be. The Knight of Swords. So let's give these a quick shuffle. I think I want to cut these cards too, actually. Okay, and then a nice riffle shuffle. Before we take five cards out of here to finish this off. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry my phone's going off so much right now, but what can I do? Okay, so the signified card, the Lord or the Knight of Swords, the Lord of the Winds and Breezes. Okay, that's challenged by the Two of Wands and Lord of Domination. So the Two of Wands, we've got some actions, we've got some plans here, and uh, and we uh, need to understand that this is a short-term answer to a long-term issue. Okay, the Two of Wands tells us, let's get a plan together to get moving in the right direction. The basis of this, the Wheel of Fortune, Lord of the Forces of Light. So the Wheel of Fortune tells us, yeah, I always like to say the Wheel of Fortune is moving in a fortuitous direction. There can be some difficulties, but uh, we're going to end up in a, in a forward uh, path. So the Wheel of Fortune is a good way to underpin this uh, yes card, this issue. And the past of this is death, child of the great transformers. I love when the cards repeat. I see, you'll hear me say it over and over again. It tells me that they're paying attention and playing the game with us. So death is telling us that we came into this at the end of of something, something, and you may not have realized it, but something was finished, and now we've started something else, another cycle. The sky of this, the two of pentacles, Lord of Harmonious Change, getting that right balance, finding the yin and the yang of the thing, okay? And then the likely outcome uh, being the seven of cups, Lord of, of Illusionary Success. So there's lots of choices here. There's several ways that this can go, and all of them are, are fruitful. Let me make sure. Yeah, all of these are, are choices that will be a positive uh, move in that direction. So all this underpins that yes card. We start out with the Lord of the Winds of the Breezes, which is that Knight of Swords. Uh, he's challenged by the Two of Wands, uh, making a step in the right direction, getting a plan going to get us moving. Underpin, know that the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. This came to an end before we had this beginning. Finding a balance is what you want to aim for. And then the Seven of Cups, understanding there's lots of choices to move this issue forward. Okay. The last card, then, if we chose that one, number four, will be the signifier. And that is the Princess of Cups. That's the Page of Cups. The very least effective, but this is a message. This is a compassionate, emotional message that's being brought forth, and she's called the Princess of the Palace of Floods. Princess of the Palace of the Floods. The Princess of the Palace of the Floods. We need five cards to finish this divination. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And five. Okay, we're done with these cards. They've done their job. They've done what we've asked them to do. And these five cards are going to finish out if this was your card that you chose. The challenge to this Princess of Cups, this message of compassion or emotion, is the Six of Cups, which is the Lord of Pleasure. So the Six of Cups, and I just want to make sure that I'm giving us all the choices that we can have here, is telling us that, um, you know, this is a positive, compassionate movement in a forward direction. Okay, so this Princess of Cups is just underpinned by the Six of Cups. The base of this reading then 
with the hermit, the magus of the voice of light, so the magician of the voice of light. So this this hermit is telling us, let's shine a light on the path forward, okay, before we make a move. Let's consider this issue, this fruitful situation before we move on. The past of this reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Again, he's the fighter of value. He's been given some sort of a worth, and he's the lord of the wild and fertile land. Lord of the wild and fertile land. And that's how we came into this issue, okay? Uh, on a mission, almost, of value. In the sky of this, we have the Four of Pentacles, which is the lord of earthly power. This is value. This is balanced. This is saying, uh, uh, you know, holding on to your value, Okay, understanding the solidity of having a strong foundation. And then the likely outcome of this, with the Six of Pentacles, the Lord of Material Success, again, finding the balance, the uh, the way to pay this forward, to spread this value so that we get uh, the best advantage. Okay, so we have the Yes card. We came into that with the Princess of Cups, a Messenger of Compassion. Challenged by the Six of Cups, just the Lord of Pleasure. Okay, underpinned by the Hermit, Clear, clearly understanding the way forward before we start to move that way, came into it as the Knight of Pentacles, a warrior of the value, uh, aiming for the Four of Pentacles, understanding the solid and holding on to that solid base for, for this decision. And then the Six of Pentacles, getting that distribution just right is probably how this is going to end up for you. And that's fantastic. So those are four very nice yes cards. Love to get those. And I hope that something came out of this today that was useful for you. So it is what it is. I hope you got something from that. If you didn't, uh, put it aside, look at it, come back to it later on, maybe consider some people that are important to you and how this might affect them. And if it doesn't ring true, that's fine. Just let it go. And we had a, a little bit of fun for a few minutes. Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.